our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Warrior! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jared the Killer Gorilla! You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, so here's Jared Cannonier as we get the early portions of this round underway. Physically, he looks incredible. Looks like he was cut out of a piece of granite, but mentally, you could argue, he actually puts in even more work. He has talked to us a lot about meditation and visualization, visualizing everything from the walk to the finish of this fight. This man holds crystals, and DC, maybe if you're lucky, he'll actually uh, let you borrow one of those visualization crystals. You never know. Another hook. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing with all the team. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Frantic pace early on to this one. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Big right hand. Oh, yes. Now we're going. An uppercut there. Oh, big left hand there. Wow, what a head kick. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. All right, so we'll see what sort of... Is there again? Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Just over three minutes to go. Landed a solid punch there. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Big knee. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to reveal everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. you got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe oh! kick from Back to the feet now. Big right hand lands. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina hurt him again. been a crazy fight. He's got hurt again. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, killer jab there from Jared Cannonier. Amazing to think where he would have been had he gotten an earlier start at MMA. He's only been at this for a few years and obviously has realized incredible results. It's scary, right? It's scary. It's scary to think who this guy would be if he started doing this early. But you live in the here and now, right? And Jared Cannonier is taking full advantage of every opportunity that he's given. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big double leg, double team. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Cannoneer. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went. Well, it looks like he's setting up for a finish here. 
Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. Dude's got a fight on his hands now. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Back to his feet. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show us up. Oh. Five minutes in the books. Hashtag swollen. His face is starting to close, my man. It looks really bad. I mean, early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying, he has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many Ready more fight. of these shots, this Ready. fight is gonna be stopped due to this one. Round two here. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are gonna be needed for this. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Right hand landed. Oh! And there's that inside leg kick. Just missed with that right hand. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be 